back. Everybody, Jeannie Young is back, and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited. Yet another day, because today at the Young's house, Jeannie Young is going to share with you all how easy it is to make a delicious pineapple upside down cake. This pineapple upside down cake right here is amazing. It's so easy to make. Doesn't require a lot of ingredients. And if you make a Jeannie Young style, it's going to be so tasty. Y'all never had my pineapple upside down cake. Better make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need. First ingredient that you will need would be some cake mix. Now, before we go any further, I want to talk about if you don't want to use a pre-made cake mix, feel free to make your own type of cake, okay? A yellow cake. So right here, I have a box of cake mix. Now, depending on the type of cake mix you purchase, your ingredients might be a little bit different than mine's. So on the back of mine, we will be using one cup of water, a half a cup of oil, and three large eggs, okay? We're gonna put some vanilla in there to really brighten up the flavor. And also you're gonna need some drained, drain it as much as you can, crushed pineapples, okay? And then also I have some pineapple rings, all right? And save the juice because we will be using that juice for something really special. And then also we have the maraschino cherries and some brown sugar. And we're gonna be using a stick of butter. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple, yet yeah, so tasty recipe. I felt like it is just time to get in that kitchen and show you all how easy it is to make pineapple upside down cake. Like, here's the thing, the world loves pineapple upside down cake, and I'm gonna show you how to make it Gina Young style, a really quick and simple way to make it. The cake is gonna be moist, it's gonna be fluffy. You're gonna get that beautiful, crispy, buttery edge on the top, and listen here, this is so much fun to make. So now, I have already measured out my half a cup of vegetable oil in this measuring cup here. The first thing that I wanna do is we're gonna take our contents here that I've already opened up, and I highly suggest that you use a yellow cake mix. I have used, I have made a pineapple upside down cake using spice cake mix, but I feel like the best one that you make has to have that yellow cake mix. It just pairs together perfectly. Okay, so I'm gonna put the cake mix right into my stand-up mixer, and I don't want you all to freak out if you don't have a stand-up mixer. You can feel free to mix this up by hand, it'll turn out successful, or you can use one of the handheld beaters that has the two mixers to it. <clears throat> okay, so now that we have the contents in, I'm gonna go right in with that half a cup of vegetable oil. If you don't wanna use vegetable oil, you can always use a half a cup of unsweetened applesauce. It'll do the same trick, okay? Now, our cake mix calls for one cup of water. We're not gonna use the water. We want this cake to have some flavor, so what are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna take this beautiful pineapple juice here. We're gonna measure out one cup. Yes, we are, yes! We're gonna give this cake so much flavor. Anyone that tastes my pineapple upside down cake, they pretty much go nuts because it's so tasty. So I need a little bit more liquid from this can. That's why I purchased two cans. Okay. All right, let's make one full cup. Let me bend down a little bit just to make sure I have the correct measurement. I hope y'all are having a great day. All right, perfect. We have one cup there. Let's go ahead and get this into our cake mix just like so in this manner. Oh, it smells so good. And now, I always like to put a little bit of extra vanilla. Get you some vanilla in there, I never measure it. Just get some in there, it's gonna be great taste, great aroma, beautiful. Okay, and then we're gonna put three large eggs in. When it comes to the eggs, I definitely like to crack the eggs into a separate bowl, just to make sure I don't have any eggshells. Make sure you got nice fresh eggs, you know, because if you crack it into that mixture and you get an eggshell or an egg that's not good, you're gonna have to throw your whole mixture away. So why not do it this way, okay? Three beautiful large eggs going in. Let's get to mixing this just like so. And I'll be right back to show you all what we need to do next. Let's start mixing our cake mix up on a slow setting. 
you know, or if you're hand mixing it, start off nice and slow so you don't get cake batter all over your face. And then eventually you can turn the, the speed up a little bit more like I'm going to do right now. Now, every once in a while, I want you to go in with the spatula, scrape the sides down so you can make sure that everything is well incorporated. Sometimes you can mix something up using a stand-up mixer or a handheld mixer, and for some reason, it doesn't mix all the bottom. So take a soft spatula, scrape the sides down, make sure everything is nice and incorporated, okay? So now, one thing that I want to do is we want to take that one stick, well, before we do this, let's take a stick of butter, sorry about that guys, and I want to grease my pan, all right? You can use oil if you want it to, but I like to use the butter. Okay, I'm just gonna do like this. All right, we're gonna get the sides a little bit, and then I'm gonna take a paper towel, and you're gonna see me rub that butter all over the cake pan. This is a 12 by nine cake pan, okay? And here's what I like to you. Clean paper towel. Let's get all into those nooks and crannies of the baking pan. Turn your oven on 350 degrees. We're going to be cooking this 350 degrees. And then we're going to take that one stick of butter and we're going to put it right here. Melted butter. The whole stick. Get all that lovely butter right into the bottom of your pan, okay? And once you do that, I want you to kind of do somewhat of a little shimmy here, <laughs> a shimmy, so to speak. And then when I come back, we're going to continue to mix up our cake mix and we're going to measure out one cup of brown sugar. So now that we have our cake mix nice and blended up, we have the cake pan buttered. We've put one stick of melted butter in the bottom of our pan. So now what I like to do is measure out one cup of brown sugar. All right, so now listen here. There, there, when you put your brown sugar in, I want you to pack it in, okay? It's very, very important that you measure your brown sugar just like so. What you wanna do, so here's how you measure out your brown sugar. You always want to pack it just like so by pushing it into the measuring cup versus if you were to use white sugar, you just kind of put it in the cup and then you take like a bud the back of a butter knife and level it off. Brown sugar, always pack it to get the right measurement, okay? So now we'll go ahead and take our brown sugar and put it right there in the middle, okay? And I got a little tiny bit left over, why not? Okay, so then I want to mix the two together, which is the melted butter. And that's real butter. I highly suggest using a real butter, not margarine. Okay, and you want to mix the brown sugar into that one stick of melted butter, just like so, until it's well incorporated together. Okay, it's going to take a while. Have patience. Okay. Just like so in this manner, when I come back, everything will be nice and mixed together. And then I'm going to show you what we need to do next. So now that we have everything spread out nice and evenly, go ahead and lay your pineapple rings right into the pan, just like so in this manner. Make sure that they're close together. And some of them you may need to cut in half. And I'm going to show you just in case we have to. Sometimes I don't have to, but sometimes you might need to. So let, let, let's just see if we have room. If you don't have room for your pineapple ring to fit evenly, well, what do you do? You cut it, okay? So let's do a number just like so. These are kitchen shears. Make that baby fit just like so. How about it? Pretty simple, right? Absolutely it is. Everything Gina Young shares with you all, it's gonna be simple and doggone it, it's gonna taste good. Okay, so get them in there. Let's do the same with this one. You can kind of measure it if you want to, but you know how much of the pineapple you need off. All right, beautiful. I do have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. Let's cut the top off of this one. Okay, and then we're going to go right in with the maraschino cherries. Not everybody likes a maraschino cherry. Um, but we happen to love them here at the Young's house. The part where the stem would have been, you want to put it right there, okay? And then you find the best ones in the jar because not all of them in the jar are pretty, you know? 
So you have to search for the right ones. I'm taking the stems off and then we're going to put them right there in the middle until we've achieved all of the uh, maraschino cherries in the middle of your pineapple rings just like so. Our cake mix is ready to be poured right on top. Okay, so now beautiful. Oh, this, this is going to be gorgeous. When it looks gorgeous like that, you know when it bakes up, it's going to be just beautiful. My favorite part of the pineapple upside down cake is that beautiful buttery crispy topping, you know? Okay, so I'm going to continue to put these cherries in and I'll be right back, show you what we need to do next. So this next step here is kind of really interesting. What I like to do is I like to drain as much of the liquid off of the crushed pineapples that you can. You're still gonna have a little bit of liquid in there, but don't freak out. You're gonna take um, some of the crushed pineapples and you're gonna feel that part right there This hasn't been filled. The little bit of pineapple, okay? Just like so, this part right here is really easy. You can do this part or you don't have to, okay? It's really up to your discretion what you like to do, okay? And then right after this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour that beautiful cake mix right on top. And right away, you wanna get this into the oven, 350 degrees until this is fully cooked, all right? So now when I come back, let's go ahead and get the batter pulled, poured on. How simple. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Do it this way. Get it on there. Pour it on nice and evenly and kind of slow. You don't just want to just plop it on there, you know. You don't want to move the pineapples from their spot where they're originally supposed to be sitting. So at this point, I want you all to be very nice and careful, okay? So now we're taking all the contents out of our mixing bowl. Just like so, making sure that we leave a little bit of the cake batter in here so we can lick that bowl. <laughs> I know, I know. It's just something I've always done as a kid, and I know some of you right now are screaming like, Gina, no, it has raw eggs in it. I like cake batter. <laughs> I'm going to keep on eating it because it's delicious, and I'm still here. Okay, so now let me show you what I'm doing. I'm making the cake nice and even making sure that I do not go far down to disturb the pineapples. Okay, now that I have everything nice and even, we're gonna knock it on the counter to get the air bubbles out. And we're gonna be kind of careful with this one, okay? That's it, get it into the oven. When I come back, this baby is coming out of the oven. I'm gonna say an amazing prayer. You all get that first bite. Okay, so the cake has came out. The house smells beautiful, and I couldn't be more excited. So now, you may see a whole bunch of holes down in this cake. It's because I poked it just to make sure it was done, you know. I used a fork. I used a butter knife. I used a, <laughs> a toothpick, really, I did. Okay, so now look. I'm going across the edge with a nice um, butter knife just to make sure nothing's stuck, you know. And then here's how I like to um, turn it over. So I like to wait a good, let's just say seven minutes or so, okay? No more than 10 minutes, okay? Because you gotta get this baby out the pan before the brown sugar hardens up. So we're gonna take it like this, okay? And my fingers are gonna be on here. And we're gonna flip that baby over, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna take a wet tea towel or a hand towel and you make it nice and cold, okay? And then when I come back, I'm gonna show you what we need to do next. Flipped. <laughs> you always say a quick little prayer too, okay? Always say a quick prayer, all right? Do a number like this just to assist it and help it a little bit, okay? Get it nice and cool, all right? And then, <laughs> thank you, Lord, for answering our prayer. <laughs> always thank you because he will answer your prayers. All right, look at this, gorgeous. <laughs> Listen here, and this right here, you just drag your finger right across it and you lick that baby. You, you, you gotta eat that part. Now, some of you may say, oh, okay, so at this point, how do I cover it up? I like to keep mine on this cookie sheet. And what I like to use, I'll show you, stay right there. <clears throat> What I like to use is the cover that came, you know, in the same, you know, on top of this. We just cover it like that. But do not cover this unless this is nice and cool. Look at this. Take a look at this. Listen here, everybody. If you all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. 
If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Tell your family and friends and everyone you know, heck, tell the whole world about Jeannie Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Let's go ahead and say a really quick prayer. And then what I'm going to do, don't cut this right away. Let it rest. It has to rest in order for it to stand up nice, tall, and beautiful. If you cut it while it's hot, it's going to fall apart on you. Let's go ahead and say a prayer. I'm going to let this rest for a half an hour, and then together we can take that first bite. Heavenly Father, we'd like to thank you once again for a beautiful day. Lord, we thank you for your love time, your mercy, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts and make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night. Your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace of our minds in the name of Jesus. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. We bind the devil away from us in Jesus' name. Devil, you have no authority over this household. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Take a look at it, everybody. This is what your pineapple upside down cake should look like. And I just really have to come in really quickly to show you what the inside looks like. Look at the inside. Fluffy, moist, delicious. And look at this, look at this, look at this. Come on. <laughs> Ooh -wee. Amen. Once again to my beautiful prayer. Let's go ahead and take a bite. All right, so we're going to scoop that aside. <laughs> One more take at this. Be oh, she's a beauty. Crispy on the outside. Crispy right there. Moist in the inside. Let's do it. I know you're waiting on that bite. Oh my goodness. Mm. Take a bite. Let me know what you all think. Jeannie Young style. Pineapple upside down cake. I'm going in. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. It's like a melody being played on my tongue. Mm. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Good night.